Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy uh, Invective back out again with another Dokkan Battle video. But today it's not going to be just a Dokkan Battle video. We want to talk about what's going on right now over in the United States. Now, usually it wouldn't affect me over here in the UK. But a lot of the policies that happen overseas in the United States, Britain kind of adopts these policies. And right now we're talking about the one where Senator Josh Hawley, I think he's the... Uh, I think he's from the state of Missouri, right? Uh, he's a senator there and he's pushing for this bill to go uh, and activate. And I personally think something like this needed to happen because it was getting to an abusive point where games would literally abuse microtransactions and force you to uh, kind of just keep spending, spending, spending. It happened with me ages ago with a game called uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where they had the loot boxes first introduced and you could get these really ridiculously overpowered weapons like uh, that were they had stats and values far better and they'd literally be stronger than any other counterpart of the weapon in the game. Now the reason why this is so important to us playing Dokkan Battle at the moment is because of what this bill is introducing. Now, if we quickly go read this out, it says the Senator Josh Hawley today announced a plan to introduce the Protecting Children Against Abusive Games Act, which would target the exploitation of children through pay to win and loot box monetization practices by the video game industry. Now, just to let you guys know, games completely abuse children when it comes to purchasing loot boxes. Games like Overwatch, games like Call of Duty with the loot boxes, games like Dokkan Battle. Why do I say that this game abuses it? Well, let's quickly go ahead and jump in. I'm going to quickly show you guys something that will be absolutely outstanding. You guys will be gobsmacked we're about to see right about now. So let's just go ahead and change this scene selection over here to my Dokkan stream. Let's see right now. Let this go live on the screen. There we go. As you can see right now, I'm going to quickly show you guys exactly how much I've spent within this month. Within this month, just on Dokkan. Yeah, check this out, guys. Check this out. You're going to be gobsmacked here. So, let's just go ahead. We go to the menu. And we go ahead and we check out the history. On my summon history. This is how much I've been spending on this game. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You guys will clearly get to see a picture of it. It will make, it will make sense here. It will make sense. There's a lot of money being spent here. Look at all these dragon stones I've been spending. Now, I absolutely love this game. I ain't going to say I, I love the game. I love the game. But the fact that I've been spending so much. Uh, look, look at all this. Look at all this. And this is just some of my transaction history. 50 stones, 50 stones, 50 stones, 50 stones, 50 stones. Now a lot of you guys are going to argue, do you know what? You can go ahead and get these stones for free in the game, so like, why is it bothering you? That's not true. That's not true. Look at all these summons. Look at all these. Look at all these. Are you guys seeing this? This is just within the last two months. If we calculate all these hundreds of stones I've been spending, I say in total, I've spent at least around 800 quid. And maybe not 800 but I like 700 quid for this one game one game I've probably spent that much look at all these stones 50 50 50 50 50 50 so many stones you go on the summon you guys are gonna say you can save up stones and you can collect them but honestly really and truly to collect everything in the game it's not possible to rainbow everything in the game even with all these banners even with their discounts and everything it's not possible to get every single unit in the game they are completely abusing you and they are taking they know that they're going to be making loads of money that's why the game is constantly hitting number one in the app store now it's hitting number one in the app store not because of people playing the game but because the amount of sheer money being spent on the game we are constantly hitting number one in the app store you guys are probably wondering why it's because people are forking out a lot of cash for this game and really and truly all this cash, all these products, not just that, but in-game purchases. Look at in-game purchases. They incentivize you to spend money on the game. They incentivize you to spend money on the game. Now you're probably thinking, is there a fix to this? Like, look, look how much you have to spend just to get, just to get a 50 stone pack. Obviously, it's not here right now, but the 50 stone stone pack costs you 30, 
cost you this much 30 for the 50 stone pack and just just to put that into perspective if you was to log in every day right if you was to log in every day if you was to do all the events at maximum you'd probably get about around a hundred stones through everything that you could do through this event through these login bonuses here they do give you some good login bonuses and everything but at the end of the day they still want you spending money 15 stones here 15 stones here but other than that you only give you or rarely will you be getting 15 stones uh, very rare this this is just for celebrations you might be getting them. but other than that you get all these one stone one stone one stone one stone one stone that's uh, you're gonna be getting around 40 stones per month just from the login bonuses right you begin 40 stones and then you can do some story missions and missions and stuff like that daily to get some stones but honestly really and truly they're making you fork out so much money just so you can consistently play this game now there's one game that i think i've done this right i've done this right and uh, we should follow suit with this game because this game everyone plays it everyone knows where it is so let's go ahead and swap over to that right as you guys can see right now here's fortnite right this is a game everyone plays I play it consist uh, consistently. I play it non-stop. I play it all of the time. I love the game. Um, I, I didn't like the game to begin with. I honestly hate the game. The concept, the third person shooter, everything. As soon as I start playing it, disgusting. I, I absolutely hated it. But now I'm just... I play it non-stop. I play it non-stop. And I think that this game, when it comes to monetization, when it comes to spending, they got it right. Why? Because of this item shop here. You can pick and choose what you want. You can pick and choose what you're going to spend your money on. You're not randomly pulling the lever. You're not doing multi summons and having a random chance of getting a character. Instead, you get to pick the character that you want. On top of that, they provide you a battle pass with many challenges and things, and things for you to do. You can check out the entire battle pass and you can pick and choose if, if you actually want to buy the battle pass. And you know what? The battle pass does not cost that much cost you about five six quid right 950 v bucks it doesn't cost that much and you can have an entire month of gameplay items to collect you can choose if you want to straight up outright buy the entire battle pass but if you find certain characters that you enjoy in the game that you want in the game for yourself you can pick and choose if you want to buy the battle pass or not and if you can make progress and you can start collecting certain characters like right? There's so many characters here, so let's quickly just look at the end tier of the battle pass. So you, there's this character here at the end, which transforms, which changes, and you can pick and choose. But if you want the entire battle pass, look at the all the way through, look all the way to the end character. Do you want the stuff inside the battle pass? If you want it, you can purchase it. Dolkan doesn't give you that choice. It doesn't incentivize you. They don't give you daily challenges for you to do. Dolkan need to do stuff like this. They need to change the game. This game is good because you get challenges to do, you get different things to do, you get to work your way towards the characters and you get to earn extra V-Bucks within the game itself. You can earn V-Bucks in the game to help you continue playing the game. So let's say you purchase the first battle pass and you can keep saving the V-Bucks within the battle pass itself. The battle pass itself will give you the V-Bucks to keep continuing playing the game and eventually unlocking everything in the battle pass for free you don't have to spend money if you want to spend money you can come over here to the item shop and you can look and you can probably choose pick and choose whatever you want to buy our uh, biggest problem with dolkan is let's go back to dolkan here's big dolkan guys check this out you're going to be absolutely astounded here they give you free to play you there are free to play units in the game but there are clearly events and missions and stories and certain things you cannot do in the game like let, let's be honest there's this are you really and truly going to be able to beat some of the hardest and most challenging events like super battle road are you going to beat all of these stages here with just free to play units it's not likely it's not likely you're going to be every single stage with just free to play units is it likely that you're going to be com uh, able to complete the ultimate clash with just the free units available in the game is is that likely or not 
it's very unlikely because you're going to require some of the best uh, best characters just to just to do this and just to collect the LRs from the game. How many stones are you likely going to get within a month if you save up all of the stones? Within a month, likely you might be able to get if you collect all the do uh, if you collect every day, if you collect for the uh, every missions that you do, you probably get around 150 stones, right? Throughout the month. 150 stones is going to get you three multi summons on this banner, you might get one free. You'll have a very minuscule chance of pulling a character's hit. But the thing is, they constantly bring out more and more banners. There's constantly more and more, constantly more and more, constantly more and more, constantly more and more. You see what I mean? You won't really and truly be able to get every single available item in the game. Unlike Fortnite, where you can pick and choose what you want. I think in Dokkan they need to make it so that you can pick and choose by do, or do challenges. They need to do they need to do more stuff with the missions. They need to make the missions where you, you complete the missions, you get a big prize pool, or you complete specific special missions here. Like I like what they do with the special missions, but they need to make special mission missions where you can actually go ahead and collect the main characters from the Dokkan festivals. You know what I mean? There should be missions for you to do to collect gacha coins. Gacha coins is a new mechanic over on the JP side. Every time you summon, every time you do a multi summon, you get the coins. The coins should be obtained through in game play. It doesn't make sense to me. This game is making so much money out of the people that are constantly playing it. And there's other games out there that are doing it better. So I'm not hating on Dokkan. I love the game, I enjoy it. But I also realize Dokkan is definitely gambling. It is definitely gambling because you are putting money into something which you're pulling the lever on like a slot machine and you have a 50-50% chance if you're going to get what you want or if you're not going to get what you want. Really and truly, even if I look at the summons that I've had, out of all the characters that I've got, we just quickly have a look at what we've acquired within the 600 stones here that we've spent. Yeah, I know I've got the LR, but really and truly, what were my chances? And I've only got one. You have to get multiple versions of this same character just to get about 100%. Not everyone out here that plays Dokkan Battle has the amount of money that the Truth DT is spending on this game. Every, not everyone's a whale. Not everyone's going to be able to get all of the best units every time they appear. That's truthful, but they should have some sort of way for you to acquire, you know, for you to acquire characters like this in the game. They shouldn't be locked behind a paywall. It's completely unfair. I don't think it's right. And if there is a paywall, then you should be able to directly purchase these characters that you want. It doesn't make sense what they're doing, so if this bill passes, that'll be good. That'll be good, that'll be good, because things like this, they need to change. Anyways guys, that's your boy Invective, sorry if this was a bit of an upsetting video or if it just kind of brought back down the reality of how much you're spending, but really and truly this is the truth, this is a gambling game and it's a bit of an addiction for me myself, I'm addicted to the game, I love the game, I play it non-stop, I do everything to get all the free uh, items and values, but you know what, I have a limit, I have a limit to how much I'm going to spend, but unfortunately there's a lot of people that don't have a limit and spend, 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 spend becomes a really bad thing so I want you guys to be awoke and know to always have a limit when you come to games like this which are purposely made to fork, make you fork out every single penny from your wallet so be careful how much money you spend and is it really worth it just for a game these things don't have an actual value in real life this is just your personal enjoyment but it doesn't have any real life value so I mean so anyways guys, that's your boy Invective, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed it go ahead and smash that like button, if you guys agree with what I'm saying, if you agree with what I'm saying, just go ahead and like, uh, like or dislike, it's up to you guys, um, I need to hear in the comments down below what you guys think about Dokkan Battle, if it's gambling or not, what do you think about this bill that's about to pass, do you want it to pass or do you not want it to pass, just let me know guys, go ahead and put a, put a comment or something down below, anyways guys, that's your boy Invective, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, I'll catch you guys on the next Dokkan Battle video. Peace out.